Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. Today we're looking at the uh, G.I. Joe Club figure subscription service exclusive Muskrat. This was part of uh, what? Figure subscription service three, I think. Uh, so back in 2014 thereabout. Uh, it comes on this really cool card. It's got the um, same artwork of the original vintage release. Always liked this particular figure. Very glad to actually have a copy of it here and uh, for us to review. So we'll flip this thing over so we can take a look at the back of it. <clears throat> the uh, back pretty much has the same artwork in large, just like all the regular figure subscription service packaging has had. Uh, then we got the file card down here at the bottom. Uh, pretty standard stuff. This is uh, figure 303, so wave 3 and third figure in that release. So uh, on this particular one, the glue is coming undone on the actual blister itself. And I've heard this is actually kind of a, com a common problem throughout this particular uh, wave here. Um, so, you know, just be on the lookout for that kind of thing if uh, you are more of a mint on card collector. You may have to deal with that, but uh, this guy has uh, become a little bit harder to get than I would have liked, which is why it's taken me so long to get it here to review for y'all. Finally found this one and uh, was able to get it for a price I was okay with. Uh, I think most of the reason was because the card was separating, so uh, it does bring the value down a little bit, which is good for me. Anyways, uh, we don't actually have to cut this thing this time because we're just going to pull the thing off the rest of the way and then this slides out like so and then we can discard the packaging here so that's why I wasn't worried about it we do have the awesome figure stand here and we'll take a closer look at it here in a moment let's go ahead and just pull this guy out we got the figure itself with his backpack lots of accessories we got his cool boonie hat. We've got a couple of weapons in here that are taped, but uh, they'll just slide out. So we've got a cool uh, sniper rifle looking thing. We have his traditional shotgun. We got this cool machete. We have some kind of crazy alligator trap or bear trap or some kind of trap anyways. Um, since he is a swamp fighter, I'm going to go ahead and say it's an alligator trap, but we have it. And we've got his cool boogie board here, which uh, unfortunately does not have a backpack peg, but uh, it's still cool. This was uh, not included in the... Um, Nocturnal Fire, Night Force version of this character that came out a while back. Uh, so anyways, there is the figure and all the accessories. We're going to go ahead and uh, zoom in and take a closer look for y'all now. Now that we're zoomed in, we can see a little bit more about the actual figure itself. We'll start off with the figure stand. Uh, traditional G.I. Joe 25th anniversary figure stand here. We've got the raised G.I. Joe logo on the top. Code name on the front. And that's pretty much all we have, so uh, that's fine. That's exactly what we're looking for in these things, so cool. Let's start off with the accessories. Uh, let's grab this cool thing here first. Uh, so this is allegedly some kind of um, alligator trap, bear trap, depending on what you're looking at it wise, but... Uh, it's cool. It's got some really nice detail work. It does have a peg in the center of it, so uh, you can put a figure in there, and one of the Cobras can have his foot clawed up like so. Um, I'll point out that there is a little peg hole thing on the back here. I'm assuming that's to attach it to something. Uh, I don't actually see anything on the figure itself to attach that to, so I don't know. Um... I suppose we can attach it to the boogie board here. Um, we'll line that up with the little foot peg 
and see if we can snap that on there. It's a little flimsy here to get in here, but uh, it actually doesn't fit there either, so it's uh, just slightly too big for that. So I don't know. I don't know exactly how that's supposed to work, but uh, uh, this thing does pop off and snap apart, so just be careful of that. There's a little hinge pin here. So it's easy to go back on there, but uh, yeah, don't really know what that attaches to, but anyways, you've got a cool looking trap anyways. Uh, next up, let's take a look at the boogie board. So in the original vintage release, he did come with a cool boogie board that looks very similar to this. This is a newly updated version of it. Um, it's got some like tread here on the sides here and a foot peg here on the side and a handle so he can snap it on his foot here and ride it like a wave board thing which is cool uh, he can also use it as a shield if you want to snap it in his hand mostly just snapping into his hand there we go and then he's got like a shield he can use so that's kind of a cool little concept there pretty nice the original vintage release was actually a backpack as well um, so unfortunately you can't actually peg it onto his back here but you can uh, kind of pretend and just kind of stick it on there if you want to but Beyond that, uh, it's just kind of a boogie board thing, so it's cool, and I really like that, but uh, I do wish it had some attachment points to attach to the figure. We've got a cool, uh, just kind of outback sniper rifle looking thing here. Um, got some nice detail work going on, so you can see on the back side here on the, the butt, you've got like a bullet clip and some other padding, another bullet clip on the back side. So they did a really nice job with this, and they've got a little bit of texture here on the front stock as well. So that is pretty cool, and it looks really nice. And you just uh, kind of attach it to his hand. There we go, and he can grab it pretty easily and uh, run around the swamp with his uh, little 22 looking rifle there. <laughs> 243 maybe but uh, anyway that's a cool rifle uh, the other weapon he's got here is his assault shotgun and uh, this is very much similar to the original one he had in the vintage release uh, this one is in this nice gray color again not a lot of detail work on it but uh, enough to make it interesting anyhow got some nice little scarring going on some little bits of detail work here and there and it works really well though beyond that it's just a shotgun here so fits in his hand really snugly don't have to really worry too much about it either so cool nice job with that one we also have this cool machete uh, not a lot going on with it here um, We've seen this particular machete released with a couple other figures. It was a nice inclusion here, so uh, I do appreciate it there. The original figure came with a nice blue version of this back in the, the good old days of the late 80s, early 90s. Uh, but yeah, it still works really well. Can't really complain about that one bit. The only real bad thing about it is there's not really a place for him to uh, attach it to his person so you just kind of have to stick it in his belt like that i would have liked to have had a sheath for it but uh not gonna complain too much about it we also get the cool boonie hat here and it fits on his head pretty easily and pops off pretty easily as well <laughs> so you'll have to just play around with that to get it to fit the way you want it to uh, I don't really know if there's a front on it or a back on it. 
this way it looks like the front to me so we'll do it that way it's uh, slightly tapered here at this end so that's why we're calling that the front but uh, add it to him and he looks like the mostly like the original vintage release here so very nice job there the other accessories we have go ahead and pull that off so it don't jump off on us uh, he's got a nice backpack we'll slide that off here to take a look at it pretty basic pack it does have the nice color scheme though that goes with the rest of him so all in all pretty nice there nothing too extravagant on his uh, right side he has a knife in his sheath down here at the bottom pretty basic little boot knife just enough detail work to make it worth your while and I do like that it fits in that sheath and holds in there very snugly he also has a pistol here on his side in, a sh in its holster and along with that he's also got the silencer suppressor for it if I can pick the thing up so it's got a little little bitty hole here in the top of it it just slides onto the actual barrel itself and you've got a silencer pistol again pretty nice detail work here considering what this is they went to some pretty good uh, work to get that in there and it turned out very nicely I do like the fact that they have included a place for the silencer on the holster as well and it just slips back in there pretty simply pretty easily it's nice and secure same thing with the silencer tip I've also kind of used these things as little miniature flashlights uh, they've got that nice look to them anyways so uh, since we don't have a whole lot of flashlights that come with these guys other than those big kind of mag light looking things that have come with a few figures it's nice to have a little little extra thing there for them put it in his hand and he's got a little flashlight so again let your imaginations run here it's uh, kind of what these things are all about very nice that it's included though that's pretty much all the accessories he comes with so the figure itself has a ton of detail work in the actual web gear for him his vest got some nice silver highlights on the buckles everywhere uh, grenade canister or something there maybe a smoke grenade canister it's got like a air hose attachment here I suppose or a radio attachment maybe and all in all it looks really nice they did a really good job with this one and uh, it really does have that nice you know vintage feel to it so yeah I'm really really liking this thing the head sculpt is pretty nicely done as well uh, he looks just a little bit odd without his helmet with his, without his hat <laughs> so stick his hat back on there and he looks a lot better the only thing I don't really like about the the hat is the the way it's I prefer mine to be kind of curled up a little bit more it looks a little soggy here so I guess you can pretend like he's been in the uh, the swamp for a while and his hats a little droopy because of all the rain so as far as articulation goes the head does spin 360 degrees we've got plenty of up and down motion standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joint standard uh, ball and swivel at the elbow joints standard swivel at the wrist he does have the chest articulation here so side to side swivel and the ab rock feature pretty nice standard T hook at the waist so plenty of motion there double knee joints and uh, standard swivel and rocker at the ankle joint the knee pads are a separate piece here so you'll have to kind of be careful with them they can pop off like so and then pop back on so these things may have a tendency to get loose and uh, be lost 
So just be kind of on the lookout for those things as you're playing with these things. Again, it's just really a nice figure here. So I really got no problems with this guy whatsoever. I've, uh, I got the uh, Nocturnal Fire Convention exclusive, the uh, Night Force version of this guy, and it was really a great figure. And I was really looking forward to this uh, more vintage release version with the original color scheme because uh, back in the day when I was collecting as a uh, younger person, I had this particular figure and it was uh, one of my favorites. So I've always kind of kept that love for this guy here going. So uh, I'm really, really glad that we finally got an actual full version of him from the uh, original line. So trying to get his uh, machete back in his hand here. It's not cooperating, so <clears throat> that's fine. We'll just uh, shove it back here into his his pouch here, <laughs> his belt. So yeah, all in all, it's a great figure. Really awesome accessories here. He does come with his cool boogie board, and you get this cool uh, alligator trap thing. So yes, again, this guy's a little bit hard to come by. So uh, his price tag goes up a little bit, but he's not too far out of range. Uh, so just kind of be wary of that and just, uh, you know, try to gauge your own self here. But uh, I would say this is a highly recommended figure. I actually just uh, ended up liking this guy a lot. And uh, this figure really doesn't disappoint here. He's got pretty much all the good things going on from the 25th anniversary line and up. And uh, yeah, it's just really a stellar figure. So... Pick it up if you haven't already. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of Muskrat. Uh, out of curiosity, do you like this particular version better, or do you like the convention Night Force version better? Drop the comments in. Let us know what you think. If you'd like to see anything specific for future releases, drop that down there as well and let us know. And until next time, yo Joe.